to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. I've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. There aren't enough of us. Sure, we repelled the hunt's assault, but that was a miracle, plain and simple. Won't be so lucky next time. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Archmistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Don't trust the Lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've heard enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding! You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. Oh. 
We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalach says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellige Druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that! Cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. Good shot. Right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow.
Siri. Sure you know what you're getting into? Yes. And I must do this. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridan's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. <laughs> 